In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get recovery up and running on the Samsung Galaxy S2 for AT&T, which is called the Skyrocket, and for the Rogers version, which is just simply the um, Galaxy S2 LTE. Basically, uh, if you're not sure what recovery does, it basically allows you to back up your entire phone and flash custom ROMs, and um, in order to make this work, you must have your phone rooted. For the method to root the Rogers version of the phone, just click here. Um, if you're on the AT&T version, I don't have a root method created for that, so um, you're going to have to research a bit on how to do that, so sorry. And what else? Um, by trying to flash recovery onto your phone, you could potentially damage it, so you're following this video tutorial at your own risk. Um, and I am not the developer. All credit goes to... Um, right here, TP Mullen on XDA. He or she is the creator of this method, as you can see right here. And um, I believe that's pretty much it. The warnings, you gotta have your phone rooted. Um, if your phone is rooted, then I already assume you have the drivers installed on your device. And that's all I can think of. Oh, and try to make a backup of your phone with titanium backup. Um, before you proceed and if you have an external SD card I suggest you unplug it leave it on the side and anything on your internal SD card like your pictures and etc I suggest you save them just in case because fiddling with recovery could damage your device so you want to make sure you save everything possible right okay so enough blabbering let's get into it so this this uh, thread I will post a link in the description and what you're gonna do is go down to the attached files and download this Hercules file. I know it says Hercules, but this this version of recovery uh, works with the AT&T and Rogers version of the Galaxy S2 as well. Download it, and okay, there's there's something important about downloading this tar file. When you download it, um, for many people like myself, you're running WinRAR. It shows up as a WinRAR file, but here I have ex I, I'm showing the extensions on my computer. You can see it's still .tar. So when you download that file, do not try to extract it. When you double click it, you're going to see a image file inside. You're not supposed to extract it at all. That's just a... Um, it's just something stupid that happens with WinRAR. So just when you download it, just leave it as it is. I suggest you create a folder on your desktop. Uh, just name it whatever you want. Put it in there. And then you're going to have to download Odin. Odin is not linked in this uh, post. I will put it in the description though so you can download it. When you download it, I suggest you extract it into the same folder you just created on your desktop with the tar file. Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay, I'm going to leave this open. And what you need to do now is start your phone into download mode. Um, the instructions for AT&T users, at, well basically, no matter which phone you're running, let me just show you first. Uh, what am I doing? That's not what I want to do. Power off the device. Oh, and this uh, recovery mode tends to work for ice cream sandwich and gingerbread users. Come on, come on. Well, while it's happening, um, to, when the phone's off for AT&T users, what you need to do is hold the volume up and down button at the same time while the phone is unplugged and then sorry while the phone is off and then plug it in with the USB and keep holding the volume up and down button until you see a a warning prompt and for Rogers users which is what I'm using I'll show you right now so the phone is off um, my cord can't reach that far I want to try to get this on video there we go um, what you're going to do is hold down the volume button only. Do not touch the power button. Plug it into the computer. It vibrated just now. Keep holding it until this comes up. This is going to give you a warning prompt saying um, if you want to if you want to cancel this procedure, press the volume down button and the phone will restart. If you want to flash something to do with the uh, OS, which is you know pretty dangerous, press the volume up button. You should get this. Right now my computer is doing a whole bunch of driver stuff. Uh, because it's the first time my Galaxy S2 is running in download mode on my computer. You're going to open the Odin EXE file that you downloaded and extracted. Your 
you should have something here. You should see com something. Like, there should be a number here of some kind. Um, if not, that means it's quite possible that the drivers for your phone aren't working on your computer. So you're going to have to investigate that and um, fix that up. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is select the PDA button. Uh, let me get it close up so you can see. Right here. And this is, this is what's going to happen. It's going to open up some sort of uh, Windows Explorer. You're going to look for the tar file you downloaded earlier. Remember, it's, it should not be extracted. It should be like this. If you're running Win, uh, WinRAR, leave it as it is, okay? And you're going to press open. Okay. Alright, there should be... See, it says repartition. This should not be checkmarked. If it is checkmarked, uncheck it. Make sure there's no checkmark in it. The uh, user TP Mullen, the... Um, creator of this method and who created the original instructions they they put they made sure they're like make sure there's no blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. okay I can't figure out what I'm saying this morning uh, make sure it's not checkmarked okay because it could potentially damage something um, and that should be it here's hoping this works because this is the first time attempting it press start so far so good <laughs> Okay, and right now the phone is restarting. That's a good sign. Well, that's basically it. Um, I'm not going to bother finding out if it's working or not right now. Because if I posted this video on YouTube, that means it's working. So, the list of things to remember. Um, this is only for the AT&T and Rogers version of the Galaxy S2. I will post the exact model number in the description. Um, I take no credit for this method. All credit goes to TP Mullen. And um, if you have any questions or concerns, do not contact me. I am not the developer of this method, so most likely I can't help you. Contact TP Mullen or post in the thread that I put in the description. Um, what else? The tar file, do not extract it. Download it as it is and leave it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you you must of course be rooted in order to do this, but since you are fiddling with recovery, I assume you already know that you should be rooted. Um, so, with that said, if you found this us video useful, press the like button, subscribe to my channel, or check out my website for technology news and rumors. And thanks for watching.